Hello, welcome to my class today. Uh, today we're discussing what is a fact. So, students, I would like you to discuss what do you think a fact is? Something that is true. Something that's based on knowledge. Is a fact always something just that is true? How, yes. how true? Something we can prove. Something we have proof of. Yeah. But how do we know if it's real or not? That's a question. Good question. A fact something that you use every day? Yes. Yes, in class. Good. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put to you that a fact is... Actually, something that is accepted by the majority. Uh, what, Aaron, what could we mean by that? What, what would the majority be? Um, well, if all people agree on one thing, does it become a fact? Mm, yeah, exactly. Everybody agrees on it. Um, it's also something that is verified by experts. Uh, Shane, who do you think those experts might be? Um, scientists, uh, professionals like doctors. Historians. Good, good. And uh, together, boys, one more thing. We also say it's something that is proven information. Uh, how do you prove that information, do you think? We need some kind of evidence. Evidence, yes, or trial and error. Good, evidence, trial and error, fantastic. Now we're talking. Uh, I'd like you both to discuss some places that you might have seen some facts. Or you might see facts. Reports. News reports. TV. Reports. Uh, Documentaries. Maybe. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much. Okay. Do we think we know what a fact is? Um, I have a worksheet for you here. And what I'd like you to do is tick if you think, tick the box that you think has the fact in. Um, have a quick look. Have a quick look. Get that out. Oh. So. You're going to tick the box which has the, has the fact in. You're going to say if it's 100% true or not 100% true. And then you're going to write if it's a fact or not a fact. Right. China is the best country in the world. Hmm. Do I have to put a cross if it, I don't think it's true? Mm, yep. Yeah. Okay. Fact or not fact? Is it a fact or not a fact? Well, that's more of an opinion, isn't it? Fire is hot. Yes. <clears throat> Sun rises every day. Blue. Aaron, is the sky blue now? Well, generally the sky is blue. It depends on what you define as the sky, right? Yeah. <laughs> but generally we say the sky is blue. The sky, yeah. Well, when you're in kindergarten, you know that the sky is blue. Mm -hmm. It's kind of grey. Yeah. But is that because... It's because we can't see the sky? Yeah. Because if we had to look through that, be blue, right? Now, when you're in a plane mm -hmm. and you're above clouds, what you can see right now yeah. is the sky blue. If it's daytime, yeah. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I would need a science expert. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers are important to education. Yeah. What do you think of that question, Aaron? Are teachers important to education? 
Is that a fact? That's a norm. It's not a fact. You can learn things from other people other than teachers, right? Like? Well, for example, you could learn good business skills from a businessman. Yeah. That you wouldn't learn from a teacher. Definitely. You could learn from and people making mistakes. Okay. Yeah. Flying is the best way to travel. <clears throat> okay. okay. You've just finished there. Do you want to swap papers with each other, have a look at each other's, and, and just discuss if you agree with what your partner wrote? Done everything. Yeah. Yeah, everything. Okay, how confident do you feel discussing facts on a scale of one to five? Zero being that you can't, you don't really understand what a fact is, and five, you feel very comfortable discussing facts. Please show me with your hands. Four, three. Okay, Shane, uh, what do you not feel comfortable about discussing with facts? Mm, I'm not really clear. How do we know if something is a fact? Mm. Yeah. And okay. I also don't want to sound dumb, but mm -hmm. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll discuss this more um, as we go through the lesson. Um, we've got to remember three things. Facts are things that are accepted by the majority. So when it came to the example of, is the sky blue, is the fact that the sky is blue accepted by the majority? What do you think? Yes. Yeah, most people would say the sky is blue. Uh, is it verified by experts? Have experts scientifically tested the sky to say that it's blue? Yes. It has. Uh, and is it proven information? Can we prove that the sky is blue? How would we do that? Maybe just by looking out the window to see if the sky is blue? Yeah. Yeah? So could we say that the sky is blue as a fact? Yeah. Yeah, on that basis we could. Basis. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, don't worry if you don't fully understand what a fact is at the moment. What I'd like you to do is read this news article that you have in front of you uh, about Spain becoming the second um, po most popular tourist destination in the world. And as you go through, uh, together please, Underline which one you think is a fact, uh, which part you think is a fact or not. Uh, should we read it out loud, teacher? Um, would you like me to read it to you? Good love. Okay, you I'll read it. I'll read it with you together. Okay. Okay. Spain will top the USA as the world's second most popular tourist destination. Fact or not? Spain. Not a fact. Not a fact. Not a fact. And why do you think that? Um, because it's talking about something that will happen in the future that's basically unprovable okay. because it's not happened yet. Okay. Um, are we using these three three uh, points of points of what a fact is? Spain is the world's most. Well, if I just read this sentence, it doesn't tell me. It's okay. About accepted by the majority. Do you think um, that that sentence is accepted by the majority? Yeah, but where was this majority taken from? Okay, yeah. well, let's use the next one. Verified by experts. Um, I haven't seen anything in, about experts yet. Okay. Proven information? Proven information? No, it's not proven because it hasn't happened. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll read through the whole article first and maybe that'll make things clearer. Okay. <clears throat> Crap, I'll scrap, I'll scrap that bit from the video. So, together. Uh, Aaron, would you like to read for us? Please? Yeah, okay. So, Spain will top the USA as the world's second most popular tourist destination. The United Nations said 7% more international tourists visited Spain in 2017. Spain's Prime Minister said the country had over 82 million visitors last year. This continues a trend. Spain has broken tourist arrival records for the fifth year in a row. This is despite a terror attack in Barcelona and independence demonstrations in Spain's Catalonia region. There was an 8% increase in tourism to Europe in 2017. The UN said Europe recorded extraordinary results for such a mature region. Africa is becoming a more attractive destination. Tourism grew by 8%. Asia saw growth of 6%. The Middle East 
and tourism to Americans 3%. The UN said the tourism sector is a key driver in economic development. France kept its position as the top tourist location. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Aaron. Um, first of all, what, what are we reading here? What is this? Well, it seems to be um, like a, a report uh, from the UN. A report from the UN, yeah. On, on tourist statistics. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so, as you can see in the title there, it's a, it's a news article, right? Mm. Oh. Um, so, would this be something, if it is a news article, that is first accepted by the majority? If you, if you read something, do you generally accept it? Well... The United Nations seems like a reputable source of information. Okay, good. Um, do you think it's verified by experts? Yeah. Good. Some of the statements are verified by experts. Sure, cool. Um, do you think it's proven information? Well, yes, because they looked at a whole year's worth of data. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if this is just statistics from it, it seems legit. Okay, good. Um... So let's go. Let's go to the first sentence, and we'll underline it if we if we believe it's a fact. Uh, okay. Spain will go to the USA as the world's second most popular tourist destination. Um, bearing in mind this is uh, verified by experts and proven information, and as it's a news article, we could say it's generally accepted by the majority. Okay. Um, what do you think, Shane? Mm, I still don't understand how it's a proven it's proven information if it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Okay. It's more like a statement. Hmm. Yeah. And I don't know if the, uh, the other facts are... There are facts in the article. Yeah. But do those facts prove the first statement? Don't think so. Well, let's have a look. So yeah. like, Let's keep I going mean, through, yeah. When, yeah, so when I think about a fact, um, I like to think about, you know, if the, like the numbers... Hmm. So with the second of the United Nations said seven percent more international tourists visited Spain. Yeah, I, I I would assume that's a fact. Yeah, right, because that's given by the United Nations, a pretty which is yeah. So I'll say that that's definitely a fact. And that was in 2017, so that was last year. Yeah. Okay. Spain's prime minister said the country had over 82 million visitors last year. Another fact. Yeah, that's another the country fact. had 82 million visitors. And then this continues a trend. Spain has broken tourist arrival records for the fifth year in a row. Another fact. Another fact. Yeah. This is despite a terror attack in Barcelona and independence of its race in Spain's I feel like that's more of a statement. Yeah. Because they're not really giving us yeah. data. Okay. Think of a time when you won an argument using facts, uh, and do you think these facts improved your argument at all? Um, first of all, I'd like you two to discuss it. Can you think of a time when you won an argument using facts? I remember when I was younger, my mum used to tell me that if I stood very close to the TV, mm -hmm. um, I would need to wear glasses. Okay. Yeah, and uh, she said that if you stare at the TV like from such a close uh, like proximity, your eyes will degrade. Um, and then after looking at research, mm -hmm. you know, after a couple of years trying to disprove my mother, um, apparently it has nothing to do. There's no link between standing close to the TV and degraded eyesight. Really? Yeah. How did you um? How did you find that out? Well, I looked, just typed it in on the internet web search, and a few papers came out, a couple of articles. So was it verified by experts? Yeah, scientists yeah. proved that. Yeah. Okay, proven information. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I can't think of any big things, but but a common thing is when uh, we'll we'll get into a discussion about. For example, who sings a certain song? Yeah. And now it's so it's so easy to just go on the internet, and I can say, look it up online, Wikipedia or yeah. iTunes or whatever, 
and just say, oh, here it is. This is who sings that song. 